Hello there everybody, it's Sally here and welcome to Tuesday Teaching Tips. Um, I think I'm a bit mad today actually because I just want to tell you about how much fun I've been having with ducks recently. Now I have a bit of a thing about ducks and I have done for quite a few years and at one point everybody used to buy me ducks for Christmas and ducks for my birthday and stuff like that. And you can see here we have a lovely wooden duck, this is Phoebe Duck. But these three ducks have been, you know, they've kind of swum their way into my house in the last couple of years, I suppose, and they've been hanging around in various places, not really very used. I've got Beethoven duck, look, with his lovely mad hair, and he has a bit of a squeak, sounds like a little, little duckling squeaking away. So Beethoven duck's there. I've got Pirate duck, who of course has his own little theme tune, as does Beethoven, you know, Beethoven over his... Pirate duck. Pirates of the Caribbean. And then I've got Spotty Duck as well. And Spotty Duck is a bit sad. He doesn't have his own tune yet. But um, anyhow, so as I say, they just happened to kind of all appear at the same time a couple of weeks ago. And then I started using them in the lessons. And as I say, I've been having great fun with my pupils. Use them in a variety of ways. So with one special needs pupil, she's still struggling to recognise a note that lives on a line with the line going through the middle of it and the line in a space. Sorry, the note in a space. And, um, and just here, I don't know whether you can see, but I've got some book cupboards, some bookshelves. And of course, they've got the, the, the shelves and they've got the spaces in between. So the ducks have literally been floating around in the space or sitting on the on the line here to help her get that physical sensation and because we're having fun um, because it's a little bit silly um, she's been she's been really enjoying it and it's beginning to work with another student um, we've got I've got a Christmas piano party coming up fairly soon and of course there's lots of little bits that people are still needing to practice in their pieces that maybe aren't quite as good so we've been doing some magic number three practice with the ducks, which has gone down very, very well indeed. And um, even with 12 year olds, you know, they, they love this sort of thing. So one, for example, has been working on the very last bit of Good King Wenceslas to get this chord. Yeah, the, the chord four to chord one, the plagal cadence. They've been working to get the fingers in the left hand in particular sorted out. So the ducks sit here on one side of the piano and we play coming down and they have to self-assess. Did it have the right, um, was it in time? Um, and did they use the right notes and the right fingers? Yes, okay. Do, 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 do. Over goes the uh, pirate duck and then they do it again. Who's going to go next? Is it Spotty or is it Beethoven? We'll see. Success, who's going to go next? Spotty! Spotty Duck is going to go trotting across. And then the last time you get the idea. And then Beethoven Duck. Da, 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 da. And we can do that for, oh, quite a little bit of time, but it's really good at focusing their attention on the bit that needs to be practiced. Not a new idea, I know. And uh, I know there's lots of other people out there using this sort of thing, but I have to say the ducks have really lifted it for me to a completely new level. So I'm going to be more ducky this afternoon. Have fun yourself in your teaching and see you soon. Bye for now.